Here at the Castle Street Maltings, the crisp Castle Street Maltings, we're bringing the barley in from our stores, which are just about half a mile away down the road. We'll get it through steeping, germination, and kilning the three key stages of the malting process, turning that barley into malted barley. And then it will getting, be getting outloaded in bulk trucks from here to go to uh, distilleries in the local area throughout Scotland, Highlands and Islands, or it might very well be going back down, half a mile back down the road to our packing facility, which is brand new as of last year. And there we've got the ability to put it into 25 kilogram sacks. So that could be used for small local distilleries. It could be getting put into containers and sent halfway around the world. Principally, we're working with two varieties here, these two for these two different malt types that we're creating, the high diastatic power malt and the pot still malt. So HDP and um, pot still uh, barley varieties would be grown all within Scotland. So we're talking about a catchment area, really generally in the east of Scotland. So from Murray down through Aberdeenshire into Fife, uh, a bit in the local area as well. and. What we're looking for for the pot still is light sandy soil and that means that we can produce low nitrogen or low protein barley and that's really really good for producing high extract therefore high alcohol yielding um, single malt whiskey and what we're looking for when it comes to hdp is slightly different we're looking for a bit heavier ground and when we get the heavier ground we get elevated proteins. We're also growing a specific variety, which is called Belgravia. And what we're looking for with HDP malt is slightly different. It's not, we're not looking for the sugar content. We're actually looking for this big packet of enzymes because what the malt does in grain whiskey production is that it converts all of the starch into sugar from the raw grain, which is in the which is in grain whiskey. So grain whiskey typically is made up from about, let's say 90% either maize or wheat, and that will be raw, non-malted, so it doesn't have any enzymes in it. So we need all the enzyme from the barley, from the malted barley, the HDP, to convert all of that, uh, all of that starch into sugar. So slightly different role that these two malts play in the whiskey world. So Scottish barley, 100 years ago, we just didn't have the varieties to be able to really grow malting grade barley in Scotland. And what really happened, probably from about the, 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 the 70s onwards with the introduction of Golden Promise, for example, was that you had varieties that could be gro grown in the Scottish climate. And since then, things have, have moved on quite significantly. And we've got these fantastic spring barley varieties, which is ultimately what we need for the, the relatively short growing season in Scotland. Scotland is, is, is just about self-sufficient when it comes to barley production, which is a fantastic story for Scottish farming because um, it means that for the likes of us malting here in Scotland, we can get all of our grain within the Scottish supply chain. You know, the original site does go back to the 1890s and, and back then it would have been floor malting. I guess that's a big change in technology from the floor malting world to, to what we do now with, with salvaging boxes here. But in a way, the technology from the yeah, 60s onwards hasn't changed that much. And in terms of the, the analytics and just the way that a maltster interacts with barley during the actual malting process, that's not really changed either because there's, there's very little that you can measure as, as, as you have barley going through the germination process. It's about sight and it's about touch and it's about taste and it's about smell. The number of people involved in the process has changed and, and, and has reduced, um, but the, yeah, the, the principle is, is age old. Indeed, malting is probably one of the oldest biotechnologies um, in civilization.